Hey everybody, how you doing? This is going to be a fun video. Recently, I did a video mounting these Bushnell banner scopes on two Ruger American rifles. One in the 308 and one in the 30 6 Here today, I've got the 308. Obviously, a rifle is no good unless you have the scope sighted in. These Ruger Americans don't have iron sights. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to sight this rifle in at the Hillbilly Rifle Range. I've got a chest of drawers set up on its end with some sandbags and then I've got a stump here for my seat. I think it's going to work out just fine. Let me show you at the target we're going to be shooting at. Down range from our shooting desk, I have a shoot and see target set up at 25 yards. And you can see down there, I'm going to have the GoPro up close so we can get the footage of our shots that we're making. But what my hope is that this scope is already going to be pretty close and we won't have to take too many shots. Because it's cheaper to shoot, I'm going to start off with some of this Monarch 145 grain. Then I'm going to switch over to the hunting rounds and see where they're hitting compared to the Monarchs. Let's load up and do some shooting. I'm excited. It's been a while since I did any sort of shooting at ranges further than pistol ranges. First, I'm going to load up full of these Monarch brass case bullets here. I think these Ruger American rifles hold four plus one if I remember correctly. There's four there. Let's see if it holds five. Yep, nope, that's it. So, four of the Monarch brass case. It's hard to see our target down there. Let me see if I can give you guys a look through the scope from my view. I've got the power set at 10 times zoom right now. Well, there's our view there of the target at 25 yards with this Bushnell banner scope on 10 times zoom. Let's see if we can hit the target here just with this scope freshly being put on this rifle. All right, so we're recording down there with the GoPro, which I have about 18 inches off the center of this target. Let's hope the rifle's not off that bad and I shoot the camera down there, but let's see how close this is with the scope just having been put on this Ruger American. Maybe we'll hit a bullseye, you never know. I haven't shot this one in a while. Oh, here we go. It would help if I could find it. I said I had it on 10. Oh, that's act that was actually on 16 power zoom. I'm going to turn it down to 9 power zoom. Just for sighting in at 25 yards. Alright, first shot. Here we go. Oh, I love this scope. So much clearer than any other scope I've ever used. Alright. Looks like that hit, I don't know, three or four inches low and slightly to the right. Oh, I am going to adjust this up and to the left a little bit. Some of you guys are probably screaming at me right now. Oh, you didn't even count your clicks. Yeah, I'm just kind of a wing it kind of guy. <laughs> Let's see where this one hits. And we'll go from there. I made some up and left adjustments. Let's see where this one hits. I am kind of excited though, where that bullet hit. It was almost pretty close left to right. And not too far low, but Let's see where this one hits. Also, I know everybody has their own way of sighting in rifles. Some people say, oh, you got to shoot three times because it could have been user error, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to shoot this one. Let's see where this baby hits. I literally put this scope on and after two bullets, I'm right in the bullseye. That's perfect left to right. And... I'm gonna say a half inch low. 
So let's scooch it up just a little bit more. All right, two clicks up. Let's see if we can hit the center now with the third shot. Of course, that could have just been luck, but shot number three, let's see if we can punch that bullseye. Man, I love shooting this rifle. Ruger American rifles are great rifles, especially for the money. And paired with this Bushnell Banner scope, woo, love it. These scopes are so clear. All right, shot number three. Let's see if we can punch that bullseye. Felt like I pulled up a little bit on that one. Moses of fire. I shot the same hole. <laughs> Look at the tape. I shot the same hole. I don't care what anybody says. I love this rifle. All right. I'm going to adjust up a little bit more. Click, 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 click. Let's take this fourth shot and see if shot number four punches that bullseye out dead on. I can't believe I just shot the same hole. I don't even know that I've ever done that before. You guys aren't gonna believe that, but I've got the tape to show it. I just shot that same hole three times in a row. <laughs> Rifle safe. Let's let this cool down for a minute and let's walk down there and look at that target. I can't believe I shot the same hole three times in a row. That's ridiculous. That really is ridiculous that I hit that three times. But let's go look at the paper and see what it says. But it's been a while since I shot long range rifle. Well, I call it long range, 25 yards. It's been a while since I've shot anything further than pistol range, so I'm really getting a kick out of this today. Let's check out the target. I'm really excited to roll back that GoPro footage too, but I know for a fact that I hit that same hole three times. So, first shot right there, second, third, and fourth shot all hit right there. I still wanna punch that bullseye out, so let's load up four more and take some cracks at it. All right, so I'm gonna load in Four more of these Monarch brass shells. I like these because I can get these for 40, 45 cents a pop, and it's not gonna break my bank like some of the hunting rounds are, a dollar or more a piece. So, especially just for plinking and target practice, I don't mind shooting these brass case rounds. I got four more. Since I hit that same hole three times in a row, I'm gonna crank this scope up a little bit more, see if we could punch out the bullseye there. All right. That one, we kissed the bottom of the bullseye. I'm gonna bring it up a tad bit more. See if we can hit it dead center. Woo, baby. I don't care what anybody says, this is a lot of fun. That one kissed the right center. I think we're good up and down. Let me shoot another one down there. That right is probably just me pulling on it. That one felt good. Hit about the same spot as the last shot. I'm gonna go left, just a hair. See what we can do here. That one felt real good. And that's it for that. Rifle safe. Oh, I didn't even see what that last one hit. Oh yeah, we're money. That last one hit dead center. We're golden, baby. Let's go down there, check out the target. I seriously 
cannot believe how close to center that scope was just being put on that rifle. Like, normally when you put a scope right on the rifle, I've never ever in my life been able to sight a rifle in that quickly and be dead on the spot. Literally, we had one three or four inches off and then seven rounds in a row right around the bullseye. It almost fell down there, but check this out. So first shot, very first shot right here. And then we put seven shots all over right here. The last shot being dead center in the bullseye. So I'm actually gonna put stickers over these, put the hunting rounds in and see if the bullet travels just like those full metal jackets did. If so, we're gonna be golden and ready to go for deer season. So let's put these stickers on, see what happens. Now I'm gonna load one of these Winchester power points, the lead tips, and see if the ballistics are close and if we're gonna hit dead center just like we did with those Monarchs. I'm hoping these bullets fly just the same. That way I'll be able to keep practicing with that cheaper ammo. Let's see what happens. Boom, baby. Dead center. Let's go check out that target real quick. Dead center. Those bullets fly just the same. Super awesome. I'm super excited. I still can't believe how easy it was. Woo. I still can't believe how easy it was. Man, I got ticks on me. I still can't believe how easy it was for me to sight that rifle in. It's even better that those bullets are flying just like the Monarch's Full Metal Jacket. So look at this target. Just blew the center out of that baby again. I'm gonna put a sticker back on the center again, have somebody else shoot the gun, see if they can punch the center out too. All right, I just put eight through the bullseye, so we know the gun's good. Let's oh. see if he can hit it here. Well, the barrel's hot now though, so. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Bullseye. Hit another one. All right, so we just put eight, nine, 10 rounds touching the bullseye. I think it's safe to say that that 308 is good to go and on the money. But let's take a look at those two shots he just took there. He kissed the bottom of the bullseye and then hit the top. So, hey, this rifle's good to go. A big thanks and a shout out to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. Hoo-doo!